Hi everyone. You probably noticed I haven't posted any new videos in a bit. Uh, that's because I was out sick for a little bit and I've just been running into a lot of minor little problems that make it difficult to film. Just this morning they parked a very loud cement truck right under my window so I couldn't do anything with audio in it. Uh, but things seem to be straightening out now and I'm working on an entirely new template for you guys. Uh, this one takes into account a lot of new things that I've learned and adds some features and controls that the old system didn't have and that are very useful. Uh, some of these things include uh, it supporting multiple cameras and being able to uh, teleport yourself around to different locations in the level that you're filming on. So that's all very useful. Uh, the uh, template is actually on my GitHub right now. Uh, it's not finished. It's a work in progress. You can use it. But just be aware that every now and then there's going to be changes to it, and uh, they could be considerable. Uh, I'm trying to make certain things easier to use, and it's just taking a little time to figure out how to do it. You'll find a link to my GitHub in the description for this video. Uh, and also be aware that I've rearranged the GitHub just a bit so that you can have more than one Unreal project in it. So right now that uh, GitHub contains my original uh, Unreal Virtual Pro Production Project. It contains a project that uh, reads your trackers for a little bit and tells you how much jitter that uh, you see in them, which can be useful for um, arranging things in your room, checking to see if any glass or mirrors are causing problems and that sort of thing. Uh, and then the third uh, and the new template is called VP Studio, and that's in there as well. Now, as you can see behind me, thanks to coronavirus, I'm uh, still working at home. Uh, and I'm crammed into a relatively small spare bedroom instead of my uh, usual big studio at the office. Uh, this is kind of bad because I don't get to move around as much, but it's also kind of good because you can see what kind of virtual production stuff you can do in a fairly small space. Um, you can see all the equipment pretty much stretched out behind me, so uh, I'll, I'll just kind of run over a couple of the key things really quickly. Um, this is a Sony a7R IV with a Vive tracker on top. And over here, a little further away, you can see uh, the uh, UMC S3CA, which is also a Sony camera, uh, and uh, the Rhino camera robot I've talked about, which can slide back and forth and pan, tilt, and zoom all uh, by remote control. So that's pretty interesting stuff, uh, and I'll go into more details on how it all works later on. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is that I'm going to be changing the format of my tutorials a little bit. Uh, instead of doing big long ones, which frankly some people find hard to swallow even if I put an index on them, I'm going to break them down into subjects one by one uh, so that they can be short and make it easy for you to skip over things that you already know about. So the first thing I'm going to do is a demo of the new virtual production template I talked about, and that should be coming up fairly quickly. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention uh, in this particular video was just a couple of tools that you might find useful. Um, one of them is pretty obvious. It's a tape measure, um, but this is a metric tape measure. And this is very useful because Unreal measures everything in centimeters. So if you have a metric tape measure, you know, you spend seven or eight bucks on something like that, you won't be constantly doing inches to meters conversions. Uh, another thing that's really useful, it's a simple torpedo level. Um, this is great if you're trying to level out the tracks of a slider, the top of your camera so that it's not tilted, uh, or just about anything. Like even if you want to take one of those red poles behind me, you can stick this on it to see if it's uh, vertically straight. Um, this is another type of level. It's called a bubble level. You can set this on top of something like a tripod head or uh, the top of your camera. And the bubble, when the bubble is in the center, the camera is completely level in all directions. And the last thing is one that you probably might not have thought about. Um, if you've seen one of these before, this is uh, called a plumb bob. Uh, you can get these for a few bucks over at your local home store. And of course, I've got a string of this bright or a, a wind of this bright orange string. And uh, what this is really good for is anytime you want to have a really solid vertical measurement. So uh, because this all hangs on gravity, that bright piece of string is always going to be perfectly straight up and down. Um, so when you need to make sure something is nice and level, uh, this is what you can use. 
just recently I was using it to level out the curtain rod on the green screen behind me turned out when I'd set it up one end was a, an inch or so lower than the other. So you take this and you allow it to go all the way down to the floor and then hold this up on the thing that you want to level out and then move to the other end of the thing you're leveling and touch it in the same spot and if the uh, plumb bob isn't still touching the floor then you're either too high or too low. Uh, and you just adjust up and down and that'll get you exactly the same distance on both ends and you might think you could just do this with a tape measure but it turns out it's actually kind of hard to keep the tape measure perfectly straight up and down uh, and that can cause errors so um, I'd recommend you get one of these because it's very cheap uh, and it's very useful the other thing this is good for is if you're looking at a lens and you want to figure out if there's any distortion in it you can basically take this line and move it back and forth in front of the lens and because the line is always perfectly straight if it looks slightly curved on your lens then you know you have some lens distortion that you need to correct for and that's all for right now so I'll see you next time when the next video will be a demo of the new template